it is 1.30. I just finished my workout. Uh, did tricep feeders, so I did a little bench press uh, just with the bar and uh, 30 pound tricep pull downs. It is freaking cold. It's negative 23 and I'm wearing shorts. I need to go home. I need to go home. Um, so yeah, I've had low energy today. I was just thinking in the gym, I think a lot of people measure themselves by weight, how much weight lost or weight gained when they're trying to make muscle gains. Um, because it's so hard to measure your own body as far as like eyeballing and seeing if you've made progress. A lot of people have uh, body dysmorphia or, you know, you can't always measure every little bit of your body every day. I guess you could, but not a lot of people do if they go to the gym. So, and you can't really mess, uh, like measure how dense your muscle fibers are becoming or uh, how much they've ripped or uh, like the thing is for me and the reason I'm bringing this up is I've always had the same peaks so I've always gotten on a good diet eaten a lot and then my body for whatever reason tries to drop a bunch of the weight so that's what's actually happening these past couple days and uh, now I'm 241 but I feel light like I feel like I'm having a force feed myself like like livestock um, like gym livestock. I'm a gym rat. <sighs> no, 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 I'm just eating all the gym cheese. Um, but yeah, that's that's how I feel. And I'm just going to have to force feed myself. And I always say consistency is key. I think I'm going to have to be more consistent with eating now. Now that I know that I'm about to be probably making a lot of good muscle gains if I properly uh, give my body the nutrients it needs. I need to stay on it. So remember, consistency is key and the scale is not always the indicator of how well you're doing.